Gossips, trending, viral content, celebrity lifestyle. Welcome to. Guys, permit me to say that some people's head eh, is strong like Bola. Honestly, if they cannot fight while alive, you see when they buy, they will like more surely fight back. It seems Mobad is really giving them bus boost in their camp. There is a new voice note trending since today. Have you ever come across this video during the time of that DNA saga? Guys, read the caption. You will understand what that video is all about. I don't want to make this video longer than I want it to be. So, the plus and minus mathematics hidden before the public happening between these two long time ago since the buy of Mobad and people seeking for justice for Mobad is out in the public. Almost my ears are full. <laughs> the voice note you are about to listen to guys i'm just shaking my head here that i am <laughs> anyways let me officially welcome you guys back again to my youtube channel in case you're watching for the first time this is loudly just Love youtube thank you for watching and tuning in and to my returning beautiful and wonderful subscribers you guys are the real mvps thank you so so much for your massive support and always watching that's been said let's go there even even from our own idea and the problem we have with that you said i didn't go sir it went somewhere because Papa is collecting 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 from everybody that can stick a camera in his face. And they are insulting him after that. And the enemy comes, the people who, who think that traditionally he should be quiet, he should be mourning, he should wait till the burial is done. Those people are running insults on him every day. So we said, Papa, please, no interview, which he signed. It was his lawyer's idea. Which he signed, it took a month and maybe two weeks before they approved the agreement that we entered. Explaining further what that audio is all about, this lover said, um, listen to how sharing formula of 75 slash 25 percent cause fight between Baba Mobad and one of his people. I think that's one name now, Africa TV another opportunist as money don't cause fights now baba mobad don't change them for him business partner say him no sabi waiting him sign according to the business partner he signed a deal all this on top a young boy spy god is patient sha this next video expansions more um, <laughs> <laughs> This thing to real me, Hamza. Don't you know this guy is going to dig in into all our secrets, and that is why he took it against you. And this thing is now becoming public, and you're trying to do what is called damage control. So stop it. That we can't buy that narrative. You have a lawyer. They told you to. First of all, you are telling us you didn't know what you signed. What the paper is you? Why you kept his signature? He said, "Are you? Don't tell me." Even if you didn't go to school, for you to put your signature somewhere shows that you're signing off something. If you want to buy a piece of land, even though you don't go to school, you know that, ah, what am I signing? I'm signing for this piece of land. So you can't tell us that you don't know that you are signing off or they will ask you. The only thing you can tell us you don't know is that you don't know that it was 35% that is coming to you. You knew what was in the contract that, oh, I am, I am dividing this. So a part is going to African TV, a part is going to the lawyer, a part is going to me. That is what you can say. But we are learned people. So you have to just stop that. Wumi now has to be extremely careful. So if we say she shouldn't even do any DNA, she's right to, she's, she's hundred percent right now to say, no, she's not doing anything. This guy has put my name, my son's name next of kin. If she can confirm that, that her son is the next of kin in all the documents in anything, she doesn't need any DNA for anything. You can be an adopted son and still be the head to a person's property. So far, the person wrote it in his will, wrote it as the next of kin in almost all accounts, in everything he has. We know where this DNA thing is coming up from. So the thing here is that the family, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just laughing at this family. And if they don't take care, they're going to lose a lot. So woman now has, right now, she has to be extremely careful. 
she has to be seriously careful about Leanne's safety. Where she said she moved to, maybe her new apartment, she should not disclose it to any blogger. Anybody should not visit her home. No family of Aloba should even visit her right now. She shouldn't allow it at all. Whether it is Adura that we also are in support of, she should, she should just take care of everybody. In fact, nobody should even carry Liam. Make sure you don't even hire Nani. She makes you no hire Nani. Make sure you know, nobody should carry Liam. Make it a cry where he did. Make, if he won't cry, make it cry. You want tire. Okay, you go carry him when you are okay. Nobody should carry Liam. Not even your sisters. Nobody. Don't trust anybody. Because right now, and when they tell you that you want to go for um 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 um, um for the DNA, if you really want to go, ensure you go with your lawyer. Ensure you go to a lawyer, and the place is a certified DNA center. The place is a certified DNA center. Possibly make it two places: one abroad, one here in Nigeria. That's just what is happening right now. We have seen, and this man, I just thank God, the, the court case has not started. The court trial has not started. It is now proving the credibility of Baba Lea, uh, of, uh, of Mr. Loba. I, uh, uh, right now, where's my book? Look at it. The first thing I wrote here is DNA for Liam, DNA for Adura. Right now, I think Adura now has to do his own DNA. If he actually wants to change his son, he has the right to call his dad and say, I want to know if you're the person that gave birth to me. For you to be doing this, for you to be doing this, it's an embarrassment to this family. Ori Omi Hamza to be very disappointed at what this man did. And I'm very sure he's going to as in choke him up. You've not buried your son. You're signing a contract. You've not buried your son. You've not buried your son. Mubad is still lying in the mob. You're signing a contract over his properties. Are you okay? What gives you the right that you're the next of king? You're not. You're asking what did Mr. Loba did? It's 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 now that we, he signed off a contract between him, Mr. African TV, and um, this thing concerning properties. They've donated up to thirty-five million. I don't know the exact actual amount. Is it part of the contract? We don't know that. This man, I don't understand. Your, your PA is not doing a very good job. If you're watching this program, your PA is not doing a very good job. Hire somebody who is intelligent. Better still, come to this live and gain more knowledge. You're going to watch those live. You're going to all these kind of places. You can see the kind of people they think. Why not find somebody like me? If, if I had seen you that you are making peace with your entire family, let me just tell you, Baba Mubad, let me just advise you on something. Mr. Loba, let me advise you concerning something. Do you know what you've just done is tarnishing your credibility? If you go to the court trial today and start saying that Wumi, she was knocking somebody in another room. First of all, they have known your intention. Your intention was to sign this contract concerning properties. Whatever you say at the court, your action of even signing a contract is reflecting what you're saying. Can you prove it? You can't prove it at the court of law, but because it is now proven that you have a signed contract with somebody over the sharing of properties. So, I would always say this. I am happy. In conclusion to that, Jesus said, Hashtag justice for more bad. Hello, Twe Twe. I feel so sad this morning seeing how Mr. Aloba has made a mess of this whole case with his numerous interviews, supporting his son's bias and fighting his son's wife and grandchild. I was not following the whole TikTok saga until yesterday when somebody sent this to me about Moba's dad signing a contract with a man over his son's by I was shocked. Your son is lying down there, yet this man keeps doing the most. Now, after signing a deal with the so-called African TV, whatever, they also opened a foundation in MOBA's name, a fake foundation in MOBA's name, just to collect Owokudi money from people. God that will not support this. Now, so Baba Mobad and the person he signed a deal will fight. Ma, that's one come expose them. 
Say all the interviews Baba Mobad is doing, he charges 10k slash 15k for each interviews. Oh God, poverty is truly a disease. Dear Mr. Aloba, the first interview you granted, I remember vividly you said, that is to say, is not a big deal. It's just Naira showing Mobad supremacy. Okay. When he was, I think when they asked um, Baba Mobad how he felt about Naira Mali's um, treatment towards Mobad, and he replied this. Thank you for ruining this whole justice cause because of land in Ikorodu that's not even worth 5 million Naira and cheap, cheap money like 10K. Oloron Afi Ajulo Ha. Hey, Mr. Aloba, those that Panebi, your son, has gone to Modukbe Kool to do Thanksgiving on a job well done. Thank you for making it easy for them. God will reward everyone accordingly. We all will reap what we sow. This is another real life lesson. Do all you can to be saved. You will be amazed how the world will move on. You will be amazed how your family has been eyeing your property before. Ikuma Bola Jeo. Wahala. It is well. Guys, that being said, that brings me to the end of this video. Share your thoughts, put down your emotions in the comment section. Please do give this video a massive thumbs up and remember to smash on your red subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on your notification bell to always get notified anytime I drop new video or videos. On this channel, we react, analyze, we give trending just celebrity news, true crime and true crime stories. And to my returning beautiful and wonderful subscribers, you guys are the real MVPs. Thank you so, so much for your massive support and always watching. Bye-bye for now as I'm signing out for my next one. Peace out. I love you all. Okay, Messi and Umbano. Bye. I like to be educated but I'm so frustrated